Good morning, world, live from Ashland, Oregon. Hey, I'm loving this state. Um, I'm going to get right into it. I've been asked several times this way, uh, past week that uh, people want to know about traveling solo for the first time ever. And it's really a whole book, and I'm working on a book right now. Um... And I might do one aimed specifically at first-time solo travelers. Okay, here's the thing. You wouldn't have that desire if it wasn't the right thing for you to do. So I just got a message this morning. A woman in her, I think she was only like 48, um, said, oh, I wish I had done it in my 20s. Now, I hear that excuse a lot. Here's what I got to say about that. It's just an excuse. Um, I started when I was 48, um, traveling around the world by myself, and I did a little traveling in my 20s, but I never thought of it like, oh, I'm too old to do that now. I mean, it just never occurred to me. Like, what does age have to do with it? Um, and in fact, it can be better now. Um, because I can save better. Um, I have a different outlook about enjoying my time. Um, so there's a lot of advantages to starting when you're older. Um, yeah, there's definitely going to be discomfort. Um, and there's the rub. Many people don't want to get out of their comfortableness. And that's how you get old. You stay young by being uncomfortable. And I want to read you a quote from Anthony Bourdain. Travel is about the gorgeous feeling of teetering into the unknown. That's it, exactly. That's the best part of it, that you don't have this set itinerary where you have to do this, you have to go to that restaurant, you have to go to the Louvre. Um, I went to Paris and I didn't go to the Louvre. I didn't miss anything. I had a blast in the six days that I was traveling there. So I've got some advice. Um, don't have it so planned out that there's no room for spontaneity because a lot of things change as you travel. You decide to go another place. You don't want to stay in this place as long as you thought you did because when you got there, it was different. Um, it's never going to be this set way of doing things, which is part of the fun. That's what's so cool about it. It's very, um, even in my workshops that I lead, uh, the last one in particular in Sicily, the photography workshop, um, I schedule it on a weekend in February, and on the last day, on Sunday, it was the Mardi Gras Carnival in Sicily. And they don't really have a set date for it. You just have to be there at the right time. I didn't even know about it. And we had so much fun photographing the outfits and the floats. It was incredible in this tiny town of Tarmina. Wow. So completely unexpected. And you want to build the unexpected into your travel. Now, to address the first time traveling solo, I do remember um, the first time I landed in Ecuador by myself... Um, I felt, I felt a little apprehensive because it was the first time I went to an unknown continent and didn't know one soul there. Um, but I got over it. I mean, you just go through it. You get to the other side. It's like, feel the fear and do it anyway by Susan Jeffers. That's a great book. It's not that you're not going to be afraid. Um, you just don't want to let it paralyze you. Just keep moving. That's the answer. Keep moving. Um, you don't like something? Move. Move your move out. Move to another place. Um, you can use that in your regular life, too. Um, travel gives you this whole different perspective. So when it's your first time, um, sure, you got to be on your guard. But, you know, as you get better and better at it, 
you're going to find yourself uh, drinking heavily with locals, which I highly recommend. It is so much fun. I've never had a bad experience with that happening. Can't think of one in the past 11 years. Um, and if even if you don't drink, you can still be drinking something, but you're hanging out with locals. Um, do projects. Don't just go to a hotel and eat the same food you always eat. Take a chance. Hey, I've gotten horribly sick. So what? You're going to get better. I mean, I've eaten things that I didn't even know what they were, but the experience was worth of eating it, was worth doing it. Like in Rishikesh on the banks of the Ganga River in India, I never knew about ginger lemon honey. That will knock a cold out of you, that drink. Ginger, fresh ginger, lemon, and honey. You'd be surprised. Um, so eating with locals, drinking with them. Um, you're going to meet a lot of people on this trip, both people that come from your country. I'm, I've met a lot of Europeans that travel. That's been really fun. Um, and uh, the, the local people that live in that country. And if you want to start out easy, I would say for solo travel, go to Europe first because uh, it's easy. The transportation is connected. The train goes with the ferry. The ferry goes with the bus. I mean, you know, when I think of it, it's much harder to do in Asia and most countries. It's not really carefully laid out like it is in Europe. So it's a pretty easy place to travel by yourself even without knowing where you're going to be. Okay, you're going to pay a little more for train tickets if you don't do it way far in advance, but I think that's a small price to pay for being able to choose where you want to go in a heartbeat. Um, like I went to the Amalfi Coast in, let's see, February, early February, before I went to Sicily, and that was wonderful. Um, I was hoping to go there, it was the winter, so lots of things were open. Um, easy. Easy to be there. Easy to travel there. A lot a lot more people know English in Italy now. Um, but sure, you want to learn some of the language. Um, so what I advise for first-time solo travel people is to do some research, but leave a lot of room for spontaneity. And what you also want to do is not research so much that you kind of research the fun out of it um, because you start to get kind of stuck on what you're going to do and then um, give yourself a lot more time like if you're planning a three-week vacation see if you can make it a three-month vacation seriously you're not going to want to come back um, I almost uh, this year I did a little over two months in Europe and I uh, had to come back because of the coronavirus. I narrowly escaped even after it was official um, in Italy that the whole country was locked down. So I had planned to be there three months. Um, so I'm taking another month off here in the USA, uh, figuring that out. So take more time than you need save up more money than you think and get going you're gonna love it and uh, please ask questions below I would love to help you and uh, get you going on your new trip so you can start planning now once you buy the plane ticket you're going so that's how I do it it's like no matter what I feel about something if I buy the plane ticket I'm going um, I don't think I've ever canceled. I, I've been canceled on <laughs> very recently by the airlines uh, because of the coronavirus thing, but I've never canceled in 11 years a cross-Atlantic, cross-Pacific trip. It just cements it, like I'm going, and uh, you make it happen. So let me know where you want to go, what questions you have, and I'll see you in the next video.